all part of it. It's all part of the brand. Munchai, sir. I mean, come on. Obia invite to, uh, 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 to an event. Now, we have to be a shah. Who can hop on here, This is very, very confusing to me. Hi, everyone. Um, let's do it again. Sorry. Hi, everyone. This is your best friend, Charlie Dior. Let's talk fashion. So next we have Emilia Brobe. Emilia Brobe, of course, is an iconic, iconic actress. I don't even like saying Kume Wood actress. My husband had an accident? I mean, which hospital? Where is he? No, where is my husband at the moment? Please let me know. She's an iconic actress, okay? And now she's a producer. She was spotted in this look. Her and makeup by Trisha Fabulous Plus. Um, congratulations on her new talk show. She has a new talk show now on Adum TV called Okuku Seku. Congratulations um, on that. She was spotted in this look on her birthday. Remember? I don't know if you guys remember, but I think a year or two years ago, we went viral because we spoke about Emilia Brobe's um, birthday look. I think this works for her. Okay, whenever she dresses down, like she dresses very relaxed, um, in her everyday looks, she looks stunning. She looks beautiful. But when she start going into the avant-garde looks, I, I don't think she understands that, and it doesn't, it doesn't work for her. This, however, works for her. Her, her. her makeup, her hair, the glam, the soft glam. And speaking about soft glam, I want to give a big shout out to Princess Touch. If you're in the New Jersey area, New York area, and the DMV area, she's an amazing makeup artist. Look for her on Instagram. Uh, we're gonna leave her Instagram page uh, below. Go get your glam soft makeup on. Um, she does an amazing job. So back to the look. So Emilia is rocking this beautifully. This is what it's called uh, um, um, color coordination. Okay, she is coordinating these colors beautifully. She's blocking these colors beautifully. Color blocking at its best. I love the color of the blazer. I love the color of the dress. The bag is giving the whole look such a pop feel. The hair and makeup is slicked. You know, it's beautiful. This is how I need to see her look. Emilia, bro babe, this is how I want to see you look, okay? Get it together. <laughs> she looks great. She looks great. We will be buying this look. We will be buying this look. Good job, Emilia, and good job on your team for giving us this clean um, and fresh look. All right, so next we have Okunoye Idris. I'm going to butcher this name. Okunoye Idris Olare Waju, popularly known as Bob Ruski. Next on our list, and Bob Brisky was spotted this beautiful ensemble. Her makeup is by Beauty by Bola. Outfit is by CEO Lumni. I think this is beautiful. This is stunning. Someone out there is looking for a wedding dress. I cannot wear this dress. Someone somewhere is looking for an engagement dress, and Bob Brisky is wearing it here beautifully. Say whatever you want to say about Bob Brisky when it comes to. But Brisky's look, this one right here will give you something to eat. But Brisky will give you something to eat, and you, you will eat it and leave no crumbs because Bob Brisky, <laughs> I don't know what pronouns to use. That's why I'm, I'm a little confused, but we can go with she. I think I think she's fine with that. She does this. Okay? She invests in her look, and that's what I want people to, to, to get and see. But Brisky, you look beautiful. You look stunning. Your makeup is fresh. The hair is given. The shape of the look is given. The details of this look is given. Sabale toi et toi, Bob Brisky. Sabale toi. Oh, kile bake, kile bake, kile bake, and you know, and she would say to herself, the, 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 the Lagos mama. <laughs> I love the detailing of this look. Um, it could have easily went into like a curtains kind of feel, but it didn't. This works. This works. The, 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 the right amount of like accessories. This works 
in her favor. I think she looks beautiful. We will be buying this look with a lot of Naira. With a lot of zones. <laughs> I think this is a this is a clean look from Bob Risky. And next we have Frank. Naro, we have Frank Naro, we have Frank Naro. Frank Naro is an actor and a producer. And um, this look was uh, <laughs> photographed by Chinese man photography, so shout out to you. Um, lately, he has been trending, he has been trending a lot lately. Boss, Godfather, Sorry. Um, because some big actors in the industry um, accused him of witchcraft to send you jewels uh, ritual so whatever the case might be we don't care about none of that what we care about on this show is how you look <laughs> so uh, we know we went on his page and we found this look and i'm like what's going on the first thing that jumped out to me was a susu bag the first thing that jumped out to me with this look was front now susu bag i'm like what is going on I met him, I met him when I went to Kumase. He's such a tiny frame, like he, he's like this. <laughs> you know? And for you to overwhelm yourself with oversized bag, oversized shoes, oversized hats, the, the proportions are wrong. You're looking like a cow child, I mean a cowboy. <laughs> and I can see he was trying to match the shoes with the bag and the bag with the belt and the belt with the hat. It's very, very typical. It's very, very typical. And yo, I, I feel it's Nino. <laughs> All I could think about was hee ha, hee ha, hee ha. Somebody's ready to go ride a horse. <laughs> I didn't have a costume, no. Once again, Uko Hoko Yede. Oh, and you cry. Now I'm a little worried. Frank Naro, you know I'm watching you. We follow each other on Instagram. Please don't let this come down my timeline again. <laughs> because of that, we will be burned! <laughs> Next, we have the legendary Samini. Samini is a music artist. Ah, hey, I read. He was spotted in this look for Rhythms Africa show where he performed. He actually performed um, wearing this look. He is now the CRC president for Game Pass. So, congratulations to him with that. But when I saw this look, honestly, I was a little disappointed. I was a little, little disappointed. I mean, I mean, I mean Samini has given us um stage looks and stage presence and some clean looks but when i saw this i wanted to scream i wanted to cry i wanted to scream and cry so disappointing the print is not working right for me i mean the the the, the uh, I, I was like no this is not how i want my legends to look I want my legends to look clean. I like him in monochrome looks. I like when Samini goes on stage wearing, you know, all the same color. Like if it's a white, he's wearing a white shirt and a white pants. If it's blue, I like him in monochrome looks. And I see here that he's, you know, rocking his iconic dreads. I don't know how I felt about it. Even though when I saw the, you know, the little jacket, you know, I got a little sense of, you know, pride of culture. You know, that that's, but, but it, it kind of fell flat for me with this look. I know he's gonna see this video, and I'm sorry, and you know I live for you. You know I love you. You are iconic. You are legendary. But, boss man, we will be burned in this look. <laughs> We will be burning this look. All right, next, let's move on. And next we have Felicia Osei. She is a presenter and an influencer. And this dress is by Shail House, okay? Recently, AJ Pounds, I don't know if you guys know, AJ Pounds came out to make some shocking revelations about how she trained her. And then she later on was replaced by uh, uh, um, Osei Felicia. And I understand why. This is the reason why <laughs> this dress did the magic. <laughs> this is why you were replaced. <laughs> you thought you were replaceable, AJ Pounds, but this was why you were replaced. I think she looks great. I think she looks great in like face-wise, she looks healthy, body-wise is juicy. 
Um, she looks great. Like you know, the thighs was given, the legs are named Suo. Like she's such a, she's a beautiful lady. This outfit, however, felt like a bit costumey to me. So then it got me wondering, where is she going? Like we have to put that into you know perspective sometimes. Where is she going? Is she going to a sex party? Is she going to a girls game night? Is she perhaps is she might be going to a Halloween party? We don't know. We don't know. You know, and if she's going to a sex party, the feathers around the skirt is a little dead to me. Like add a little bit more feathers. Okay, the fascinator, no, it, like give it if you want to give it, give it. And since you are going with such a dark, you know, theme look, then your makeup you should have given us a more smoky eyes. That's why I'm making a matter. I'm giving you guys free tips. These tips people pay for, people pay high end money for this kind of tips that I'm giving you guys. So receive the critique, okay. You know, and, and, and dot your eyes and cross your teeth and come back next time. This is the first time we are featuring or say Felicia on our show. So we are watching her. You know, you are now in the media, you are now in front of the cameras, you are now in front of the people. We need you to bring it when you when you are bringing it. Okay? We, are we going to buy this look? No. We're not going to spend our money on this look. Are we going to burn it? No, we're not we're not wasting our kerosene on this look. We will borrow this look. And, 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 and we, we are watching you a safe Felicia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next we have Ishiraba Ajua Amanfo. Also uh, probably known as Ajua Loud. Ajua Loud is a journalist and an MC and she was spotted in this look. Um, she posted this look on 31st December thanking her fans, blah, 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 blah. We don't care about none of that. What we care about is how dare you post this look. <laughs> Remember when Abuna Koko called her Paula one man him? <laughs> I listen, that day I gagged. Shout out to Abuna Koko. What is say? <laughs> like when I saw this look from Ajua Loud, I said, what is going on Ajua Loud? And all I can think about was, yes, in toes. Yeah, I said, oh, ton to mantos. Yes, in toes. Actual loud. This look is just loud and wrong. Loud and wrong. The colors are not working for you. The combinations are not working for you. Please take off that hat. Take off. This is how I would have fixed this look. The bottom part of the half, yes, you know, has to go. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Has to go. Maybe if she she would have you know used the top part of the of the fabric as a you know a, a, a long dress that would have worked. That would have worked. This is the very first time we are featuring Ajwa Loud on our show, and it will probably be the last because if this is the kind of look that she will be serving us, then we are not eating it. We are not. We are not gonna eat this look, Ajwa Loud. You are a young woman. Why wear this hat? It ages you. It ages you. If someone comes and shows me a picture like this and tells me, "Say you are a seventy-year-old woman," I will believe it. Why would you want to age over age yourself, especially when you are in the media? I hate this look. Once again, this look makes me nauseous. Makes me nauseous. The colors are wrong. The, the texture is wrong. The length is wrong. The split. Ah! Uh. Come on, people. I need you guys to serve me looks. Let me gag. When I see the looks, I'm going to say, That's what I'm talking about with fashion. That's what I'm talking about with style. Because of that, I'm so sorry. Don't you ever wear this again. Because you won't even find it to wear it. Because you know why? Because we are burned in this dress. 
Next we have Zandi Kamel. Zandi Kamel is an actress and brand influencer and you know the end of season 3 of the fashion review show we went super viral with Zandi Kamel's uh, um, critique. You can also see that she, she dyed her hair to kind of match the look. I mean this dress is so so bad nobody will claim it. And I think you know she took some notes and she's back. Oh lord, not her standing next to a flower pot again. Yes, I don't want to actually do a part as Zandi come on, dressing no saying I know you see her dressing on, not just a C and as Zandi come on, it looking like our oh, Tarena. However, I think Zandi Kamel looks beautiful here. The glam is beautiful. The dress is beautiful. I love the way it shifts her body, the length of the dress, the fabric. It has a point of interest. Like, I'm interested in this, in this look. Like, I want to know who did your makeup. I want to know who did your hair. I don't know who did your hair. But honestly, is this look memorable? Like, are we going to talk, are we going to be talking about this look after this show? Probably not. But in the moment, she looks beautiful. Congratulations to your team. Like, it, it, it's beautiful. And congratulations. I think you have a new show now on, on YouTube. Congratulations to that as well. Like, I, like I, there's no personal attacks here. There are no personal attacks here. If I like it, I will like it. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. It's, 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 okay, I What's your opinion? What's more my opinion? So don't come and kill me now. Hey, Sandy Kamel. Like I said, call me. Let's hang out. Call me. You look beautiful here. You look uh, fantastic here. Congratulations to you on this look. We will be buying this. We will be buying this look, mama. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we have come to the end of the show. I want to give a big thank you to all of you for tuning in once again. I'll be bringing you more episodes, honey. And I cannot wait, honestly, for BGMAs. Like, I, like, I, can't, I can't wait. But I'll, I'll be bringing you more content, more reviews, more love. Thank you all. Keep following me on all my social media platforms at charlie underscore Dior, honey. And until next time, I love you guys for watching. Okay? And guess what? If you don't want me to talk about it, then don't... Wear it! Bye!